Danganronpa game music, so it's not so dang loud. I'm going to update things on the Discord, and then I'm going to update the sound, and I'm not going to forget. All right, promise? Promise. Let's see. I think Anarampa is calling. Sure. sure. Ooh, make noises with my tummy. Okay, let's see here. Okay, text my girlfriend. Texting my girlfriend because I like talking to her and I love her quite a lot. That is the song that I make for my girlfriend. It's not very good, but that's fine. Okay. I I do this thing where I'm always half focused on streaming and just having awareness of when I'm streaming. So whenever I do some unrelated streaming activity like texting someone or adding something to my calendar or my grocery list, I'm never 100% sure if what I'm thinking is what was written because I cannot read properly. Ah, I kind of want soda. I don't have soda. So put that thought out of your mind, Ren. Don't worry about it. We don't need it. We don't need caffeine. Oh, I'd really love caffeine, though. I really want some soda. Oh, man. Um, I'm trying to think. I guess I have Poppy, which doesn't have caffeine. I shouldn't take... It's 9 p.m., do you know where your child is? I shouldn't take caffeine right now. Because I have those little awake energy bars, or, or the awake caffeinated chocolate, and I love it. But I probably shouldn't do it. I'm plugging you into the aux cord of my car. <laughs> Ooh, that's cool. Don't crash. <laughs> Which part of me are you plugging in? Redeemed first. All right. I'm going to assume you're not driving while you're listening. In fact, I from from 9 p.m. onwards, if I see you chatting, I'm going to be very cross with you. All right, texting people, but not really sure if I'm texting them with the correct, the right thing. Ah, oh, man, struggling. Okay, let's get this thing started. I haven't played this since November twenty fifth. Um, so not as long of a wait as Slay the Princess, but still. And. There we go. Show me the cutscene. Alright, and I did say I'd change the audio just a little bit. Turn that down just a tiny, tiny, teeny tad. And we'll see how that is. Estevan! Welcome! Ooh. I'm parked right now, but I'm about to drive. Excellent. All right. 
And I know how long it takes you to get home, so if you ta if you would chat, comment, even one minute before then, rude. <laughs> oh man, look at all our- ew, his feet are out! I just noticed that! Who draws with their feet out? Anyway. Um, I was just gonna say, look at all our dead friends. All our, all our friends are dead. Uh, for drinks today, I have red Gatorade. And I also have water. And it's like one of those Starbucks tumblers with a straw. And I forgot that I dumped a bunch of dust on it at work today. So we're kind of risking asbestos, I guess, today. <laughs> I didn't clean it out. <laughs> didn't need to hear anything else. Just red Gatorade. Okay, thank you. Mm -mm -mm. Oh, that's so hydrating and delicious. Hi, Mr. Beer. I've turned the give a dog a treat thing out. Um, or turned it off. Because my dog has been going up and down stairs lately. But I will give him a little treat. A little treat. Here you go. Here you go. Yeah. Just for Charlie. Yeah, it's just for Charlie's. Yeah. Maybe clean out your fucking cup. Listen, what I'm doing is I'm unscrewing the top and I'm drinking the inside without putting my lips on the straw, which is where most of the dust is, but um You know, a bunch of dust probably got in there, but not all of it. Sorry, but oh, you can't reach that tree. Come here. You go. Oh, patient boy. Good boy. That's my finger. Oh, honey button. There you go. Sweet boy. My dog just, he didn't bite. He never bites. He nibbled my finger because he thought it was a treat. You need nap time? You need nap time? You need nap time? What's on your mouth? What you got there? Okay, sorry, I got distracted. Why is there an asbestos risk? I don't know. Why isn't there an asbestos risk with you? Hmm. Oh man, all my save files are gonna make so many people anxious. But to be fair, why are they giving me 30 slave save slots? I guess I'm about halfway through the game, so this makes sense. But yeah, drive safe, uh, Mudia. All right. We're on chapter four. Just started. I don't remember what happened. I think it's just daily life, so no one's been murdered yet. We're alive. These four guys are alive, and I believe Visit Biakia is alive. Hi, guys. I feel like you're gonna die soon. Oh. God, I had to do voices. Oops. Where did the dust come from? Um, it's kind of funny because I work with a lot of different types of like, um, I say dust, but like powder from various things that are getting grinded down and um, mixed together and materials that are really bad to, to like consume. But fortunately for me, it was just the dust from a computer. You know how a computer like by the fan, it collects a lot of dust. Um, it fell against that and fortunately didn't, uh, spill water on the computer. Um, but I think it's just normal person dust. Just skin flake dust, so nothing to worry about there. Okay. Metal sheets had been attached. Okay, we can do this. You can do this, friend. You can do this. Metal sheets had been attached to all the w windows on the fourth floor. None of them budged an inch. Just like everywhere else. No, not auto. Turn off auto, thank you. Escape from the fourth floor seems unlikely. That was to be expected, though. Oh, okay. What do you gotta say? I should really talk to you last. Because you're probably gonna die. <laughs> um, Kyoko? She's ignoring me! Hey, Makoto. Does Kyoko seem upset to you? 
She is, isn't she? She's totally mad. Yeah, looks like it. <laughs> she looks exactly the same as usual. What? <laughs> I bet it's your fault, isn't it? You must have done something to her. Ugh, this is bad. I didn't. There was a big shelf in the chem lab on the fourth floor, and it had all kinds of chemicals and stuff. I've officially been playing this for over a year, and I'm only halfway done. <laughs> um, it's been like two and a half months, I think, since I last played this. So excuse me if I'm like forgetting certain details or character voices or gameplay. So virtually everything. And there was an all-star cast of nutrient additives and supplements. You should at least go take a peek. I highly recommend it. I think you and Ogre are probably the only ones interested in stuff like that. Oh, but it's not all good stuff, though. There was medicine and health stuff, but on top of that, there was also, um, a bunch of different poisons. Poison? They were all labeled clearly, though, so it would be hard to grab one by mistake. Do you work at a construction site? I work at a dental lab. Um, so yeah, I work with, I guess to simplify it, I work with a lot of, um, plastics and metals and gooey stuff. So, yeah, lots of, lots of dust particles everywhere. We have a lot of, um, like air filters though, like industrial sized air filters. It's pretty great. Still, we better make sure we're careful around there. And we probably shouldn't tell Byakia or Toko about the poison, right? What do you mean? Well, just in case... You know what I'm trying to say. J just in case, yeah, I think you're right. It's Byakia. It won't be long before he's discovered it for himself. But to put something as dangerous as poison right out in the open, that's absolutely the work of a mastermind. The mastermind. Also, let me know how my volume is, as always. I never know. Um, what's this flickering up here? Um, yeah. <laughs> Game too loud, me too loud, me too quiet. Blah, blah. I found a couple of rooms on the fourth floor, but they were locked. The data center and the headmaster's room. The headmaster's room? That sounds like exactly the kind of place we'd find some clues. If we can somehow unlock the door and get inside. Who cares about a stupid lock? It should be no problem for the world's strongest missing link to knock down one measly door. Ah. What was that? Ah! No, please continue. Did you say I've got the nicest butt on the block? The curviest hips in town? Is that what you said? Ew. You do got some curvy hips. You do got a butt. Hell no, I didn't. Then what did you say? Because I know you aren't talking about tearing down the door to the headmaster's room. <laughs> Knocking down your headmaster's door? What kind of war on education are you trying to start here? That's my room, you know. It is now, anyway. And you're thinking of busting it down? You seriously don't want to piss me off. You have any idea how much bacteria lives on a single bear claw? <laughs> That's what we're concerned about. No, I was just kidding. Please don't get mad. I'm not mad. <laughs> You're totally mad. <laughs> oh, I, I love this frame of him. It's so good. It's such a vibe. I was hoping I wouldn't have to add a little rule for this, but if you're going to go around having those thoughts, I have no choice but to add it to the school regulations. Seriously? Breaking down a locked door is prohibited. There, that's a rule now, you jerks. I'm surprised it took us this long. Um, I think it's very funny, though. Uh, t -t -t -t. The new rule has been added to the regulations menu. Is he gone? Oh, man, I was scared for my life. I was sure he was going to kill me for serious. But if he would go out of his way to make up a rule like that, there's no doubt that something important must be hidden in the headmaster's room. This game always makes me burp. But now that it's a rule and there's nothing we can do... So, has everyone said what they need to say? I think so. But it looks like nobody found any clues at all, let alone a way out of here. I haven't been this depressed since my house burned to the ground. Someone, do something to cheer me up! Ugh, can I say something? 
It's because my dad was smoking in bed. <laughs> Th that's... No, I, I had something I'd like to report. So you guys all remember... Right. You remember when I found that picture up on the third floor the other day? You mean that one that showed Mondo, Chihiro, and Leon all together, right? Yeah, I remember. What about it? Well, I found another one. Another picture. Almost just like that one. Another one? Oh, yeah. <laughs> Aw, this is cute. But this time, the picture was of Celeste, Fumi, and Sayaka. Huh? And they were all smiling. And the classroom in the picture didn't have any metal covering the windows. So the picture of Mondo, Chihiro, and Leon wasn't the only one. Now you found out... Now you found one that had Celeste, Tafumi, and Siaka? But how can that... Monokuma must have faked it. <laughs> but if the picture is real... Aww. They all got similar hair colors. Are they, like... They can't be all related, because there was, like, romantic ties. But they all... These guys all have, like... Reddish, orangey hair, ginger, and the other ones had kind of darker black hair. Um, I don't think any of us have like three, um, you know, similarly things of of hair. Um, I, I'll have to look at everyone because doesn't um, well, yeah, I guess Kyoko. Sakura and maybe Byakuya kind of have like. No, Byakuya has blonde hair. Wait, I have blonde hair. Byakuya has blonde hair. Um, Kyoko and Sakura have like. Sakura have like the silvery hair. Kina and Toko have brown hair. Oh, wait. So Kina, Toko, and Hiro all have brown hair. Maybe that'll be the next one. I think I've cracked it. There would have to be some kind of hidden connection there, don't you think? Some deeper truth that we just don't understand. Campy! It's a fake! But Monokuma said it was real. I know we could just write that off as a lie, but... Then you trust Monokuma's word over the people who have died? Huh? That's what you're saying, isn't it? No, that's not it. I'm shocked. You told everyone how we should believe in our friends, but you refused to do the same. That's not... What's going on, Kyoko? Why are you getting so emotional? I don't understand why she's so angry. Come on, guys. Stop fighting. All your good luck is gonna float away. Anyway, Makoto, you're thinking about it too much. There's no way Monokuma didn't fake that picture. I'm pronouncing Monokuma a different way every time I say it. He's just trying to confuse us. You shouldn't listen to anything Monokuma has to say. You might be right, but still... Are you still so conflicted? Oh, hi, Byakuya. I talk like this now. It looks like you guys have stopped playing nice. Byakuya! You all have the same sunken look on your faces. You were all so ugly before, you shouldn't let them sink any lower. When I look at you, it makes me think of a frog sinking into a pile of manure. Harsh. Sorry. Why are you apologizing? Leave us alone, you're not a part of this. That's true enough. Your problems aren't mine. We are, and always will be, completely separate. So whatever's causing your face to turn so ugly has absolutely nothing to do with me. Sugar cube! Yo! Pyakia has a vital clue! Ah! How you doing, sugar cube? How's your Friday going? I hope it's awesome. And what if I happen to discover a vital clue? It wouldn't concern you in the slightest. Huh? Did he finally just say something useful? Byakuya, what have you been up to? I have not watched the anime. Um, mostly, well, for two reasons. One, because I heard about the game before I knew there was an anime. I think I was, like, playing this, like, probably one chapter in before I knew it was an anime. Um, but also, uh, I assume there's spoilers. Like, maybe it's completely different. Like, same concept, but different characters. But I assume there's going to be a ton of spoilers. So, I want no spoilers. So, I'll I'll at least finish this first game. And we'll see. No comment on that. Oh, no. For me, that means you either had a bad Friday, a really good Friday, or you did something illegal. Which could fall into either one of those categories. 
What have you been up to, Biakia? I don't mind telling you. Perhaps forcing your lazy brains to get to work might do you some good. I was in the bath. <laughs> Everyone, stop. Everyone, Biakia was in the bath. <laughs> I was in the bath. What else would you like to know? Today's lottery numbers? He was taking a bath? I mean, I want to do something that we go, but I'm a good person. Ooh, ooh. Arson, ooh, ooh. Is he saying he's been talking to Alter Ego? Did he tell him something? Maybe we should all go take a bath. That wasn't the voice you gave me before? Ah, good idea. A mixed bath? A mixed bath! If Alter Ego really did tell him something, I wonder what it could have been. Just bad day. My autism is not nice to me today. Ah, that sucks. I mean, I, I know everyone's different, and I'm sure you know how to deal with a bad day better than anyone else, but I like to just kind of have it's, as much skin exposed without being naked, while also being warm, and then I just kind of like rub skin on the carpet. Like, even if I just have my feet and hands and face exposed, it's like, ooh, I rub the carpet. It's like a nice little factory reset. I want to quit my job. Ah, the desire to just be like, do it! <laughs> no balls! But no. For all I know, it could just be one bad day. It's fine. I'm just decompressing with my weighted blanket. More like decomposing with my weighted blanket. Gypsum or alginate. We do work with alginate. It smells. Good. <laughs> Squidward smells. Good. Okay. No more. No more SpongeBob references. Oh. Bath time. Back to bath time. I'm taking a bath. Oh, hi. When I got to the dressing room. Aw, she's so cute. She looks nervous. Toka was sitting alone on the bench. She was sitting over there on the bench. The laptop in front of her. Toko, did you decide to come hear what Alter Ego has to say too? My autism could be nice to you. <laughs> uh, I already... Blah, 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 blah. I already heard it with Master. With Master? You don't have to keep saying it. Anyway, so what are you doing right now? Shut up! Stop bothering me! Get out of the way! We have to talk to Alter Ego! No, I made Master a promise. A promise? Master told me to wait here, so that's what I'm doing. What are you, his dog? <laughs> Honestly? <laughs> I relate, we always relate to the one of these guys. If that's what Master wants, I'd do anything he asks. Woof woof. You just love being mistreated. Well, fine, if you really want me gone, but by all means. Achoo! Ah. I don't know if you have this issue, but if I'm overstimulated, my body will have physical reactions like chills and twitches. Then when I got home, I, I, I don't know if it's related, but I guess yeah, I, I get those. I get um. I don't know. It's just like, like your entire body is just vibrating. No, I'm not farting. I think maybe it sounded like I made a fart noise and I'm not farting. I just, whatever. <laughs> so you are a bottom. <laughs> so who's the person Toko is referring to as master? I assume Biakia, but you know what? I won't, I won't control her fantasies. She can do whatever she wants. Hi guys, what's going on? I, um, we'd like you to move. Sure thing. Just kneel before me and beg. She's a switch! <laughs> yeah! First a mega masochist, and now a super sadist. Hi, Jill. How's it going? Um, Toko? Seriously, I'm asking you nicely to let us use the laptop. Hmm? <laughs> 
Didn't you hear what I said? I told you to kneel and beg! Come on, Makoto, give her the old one-two combo! One, drop to your knees! Two, beseech! <laughs> I'm screenshotting that. That's really funny. <laughs> For the old one-two combo. Drop to your knees and beseech. Step one, drop to your knees. Two, beseech. Three, profit. Oh my gosh. Why are you acting like you're not part of this? I was as desperate as I felt. Finally, I did kneel down in front of her and I said, Please, I'm begging you. Will you please let us use the laptop? Such an ultra-miraculous feeling of happiness! All my pent-up anger at Master for abusing me is evaporating! Is she gonna kill Byakuya? Byakuya's gonna die! If he kills Toko, I'm gonna be incredibly upset. One good thing is I got cake today. What kind of cake? I'm hungry for pudding. And I don't have pudding. I thought I'd have pudding by today, but my pudding hasn't arrived. Hmm. Very sad. So, even you realize it's abuse. That should be enough, right? Hurry up and let us talk to Alter Ego. Okay! Oh. Cool. <gasps> tuxedo cake. I love tuxedo cake. Mm. <laughs> I've got some, like, sleepy feral energy going on right now. Like, I don't know if I'd call it sleepover energy, but it's about... It's about that. Everyone, come closer! I already told Byakia, but I was finally able to crack open all the files that were on this laptop. Why did you tell him first? Zoomies. I do have the zoomies. That is true. That is very accurate. Sorry to have kept you all waiting. Oh, you told Byakia first. Just what I thought. Finally, the time has come. Uh, I'm starting to get kind of nervous. Irritable bowel syndrome! <laughs> That's just how I feel when I get nervous and I have to poop because I'm ner Whatever. I felt the same way. Resting on the keyboard, my hands had started to shake. Am I the only one who doesn't like the purple chick? Um... Here's your answer. Move. <laughs> we don't have time to deal with peasants with bad opinions. I think she's fine. I mean, she's like... I don't know many spoilers so i don't know who lives who dies or like when they die or how um she just seems like she'll die soon move the single word was like a sharpened blade wounded i moved to let her take over still on my knees i shuffled to the side it really hurt here we go yoko began typing the world's the, the words appearing as fast as i could read them can you tell us what you found out? Sure. I analyzed the files and extracted all the useful information I could find. And one particularly important fact I discovered was that a certain plan had been put into effect here. To isolate the students of Hope's Peak Academy and create a communal life for them. That was the stated goal of the plan. But it was meant to be more than just a normal school life. The students were intended to live out the rest of their lives here. That's... It's exactly the situation we found ourselves in. It's quite unthinkable, isn't it? Like, even in the anime, I didn't think she had much of a personality and kind of plan. Yeah, I'm starting to feel that. Like, I liked her a lot because she's kind of, like, tutorial mommy. And um, I'm kind of like, oh, so there will be a big twist or she'll have a huge personality shift when she's under a bunch of stress. But she's kind of the only one that's been very static, which I kind of like. I like that not everyone's going crazy all the time, and she's like, you know, at least on the surface, very calm. I guess that was the same with Celeste as well, but, you know. And what's more, the one who came up with the plan was... None other than the administrators of Hope Peak themselves. What? Wait, hold on. Then the reason we've been imprisoned here... It wasn't the work of some psycho freak or criminal organization or whatever. It was the school itself? That doesn't make any sense! Why would they do that? I don't think Alter Ego is finished. Perhaps we should hear the rest. It seems the reason they devised this plan was because of what happened one year ago. This is how they describe that event. They said it was the biggest, most awful, most tragic event in human history. What does that mean? 
Yeah, what kind what kind of name is that for something? Otherwise known as the tragedy, it was apparently some sort of devastating occurrence. Because of the tragedy, Hope Speak Academy was forced to discontinue its role as a school and close down. I see. Things are finally starting to make sense. What this means is, one year ago, this thing, this tragedy, took place. And whenever it was, it forced Hope's Peak to shut down. From there, they decided to use the school as a kind of staging ground. They planned to sequester the students here, where they would live out the rest of their lives. But why would the Hope's Peak administrators want to shut everyone in like that? And what could this tragic event have possibly been? In a flash, Kyoko had typed their questions into the computer. And the answer we got was... Sorry, I don't know. If that information was ever on this computer, it's gone now. I'm totally useless. I'm sorry. And that's all he said. Then, this really is the end. We get halfway through the answer and that's it? It would appear so. Disappointing. Oh, wait. There's one other thing I forgot to mention. I think it might be important. I believe it has to do with the Mastermind. The Mastermind? Kyoko's fingers moved even faster than they had so far. Did you figure out the Mastermind's identity? No, that I still don't know. But I did find a clue, I think. The one leading the Hope's Peak staff, the one who finalized the plan to isolate you, was the Hope's Peak headmaster. So that same person may very well be the Mastermind who planned this all out. And according to the files, the headmaster is a man in his late thirties. Seems possible, even likely that he's somewhere in the school right now. The headmaster is here in the school? Okay, she's losing her composure a little bit. Is she? I know there was a whole spy thing. And I won't go over all the theories I had of who I think it is, but... um, Interesting. <laughs> that's all I gotta say about that. Then that's gotta be the mastermind. I mean, Monokuma's been calling himself the headmaster, right? Which makes the real headmaster that much more suspicious. But if we break down the door to his room, we're dead, right? What are we supposed to do? He said we couldn't break down. He didn't say we couldn't open it. Pick it. I'll find a way. Ooh, I haven't seen her sprite like this before. Huh? No matter what it takes, I will find the headmaster. No matter the cost. Kyoko? What's going on? I can't explain why. I just know that I have to find him. Is she- is he like her dad or something? She has to? O okay, either the headmaster is her dad, the headmaster, like, trained her to be a spy or in some sort of army or she's a clone or a robot, or just like, ah, oh, you killed my friend and I'm gonna kill you now. That's my guess. Kyoko, what's going on with you? When she heard about the headmaster, her reaction was almost violent. We should see if Alter Ego has any more information. That seemed to be her attempt to regain her composure. She started typing again. Did you learn anything else? I'm sorry. That's everything I found. All the information on this laptop seems to be pretty old, so that's all I can do from here. I'm really sorry. Then it really is all over. Wait, Alter Ego seems to have more to say. Yeah, stop interrupting me. Oh my god. Um, well, it's kind of a different topic, but I was wondering about something. I haven't seen Celeste, Hifumi, or Taka since yesterday. A heavy silence fall fell across the room. The only sound was the flat, precise clicking of keys as Kyoko typed. They're all dead. What? I see. Certainly I knew that was a possibility, but... It really happened. Oh, sorry. There's no point in me getting depressed over things I can't do anything about. I know Chihiro's already dead. I, if Alter Ego dies, I'm gonna be so sad, but I'll also be sad if like, you know, we all die or we all leave the school or whatever. And Alter Ego's just left here. Ah, oh, forever. Like I know it only activates like whenever you open the computer, but I'm gonna be so sad. Well then, I guess that's it. That's it. A simple phrase that held so much meaning. She began typing again. You've done your job. Thank you. I'm done? I guess I am, huh? 
then maybe I'll take a little rest. I'm kind of tired. Goodbye, everyone. See you later. With that, the, the laptop entered sleep mode. Aww. That's so sad. So, Alter Ego- Alter Ego did everything he could. We won't have time- We won't have to talk to him all that much anymore. But I feel kind of sorry for him. You feel sorry? But he's just a computer program, right? I know, but still, he did everything he could for us, you know? I mean, yeah, it did, but that's what a computer program is designed to do. The dude already died. Yeah, I think he died, I want to say, in the second chapter. He had a very brutal death. Um, it wasn't great. <laughs> you don't tell a computer good job every time you shut it down, do you? Well, no. But when we talked to Alter Ego, I guess I just didn't see it that way. Oops. I know what you mean. I feel the same way. Hey, come on, it's just a program. You can tell the difference between a program and a friend, right? They can be both. I've seen Ex Machina. You can't. They can be both. I think in this case, I'm sure the internet has a million opinions about it, but I think you could do him or her pronouns, he or she pronouns, because... I don't think, like, canonically he's trans in the sense that he, you know, I'm not, is a woman, like, was a man, was born a man, is now a woman. It's more just like, I needed to do a thing and hide and stuff. But he seemed very comfortable. He, like, there was no shame in it. So I feel like, you know, I think both pronouns work respectfully. Huh? I started thinking about how you would differentiate a person with an AI. Alter Ego isn't human, I know that. It's just a program running on a computer. But at the same time, I couldn't help but think of him as our friend. Yeah, he's no different from us. He's still our friend. I think maybe I understand where you're coming from. Then there's no problem calling him a friend. After all, the more friends the merrier, right? Check this out. Friendship has no survival value. Instead, it gives value to survival. Aw. So, anyway. Don't so anyway that! It's totally smart and cool thing that I quoted from I don't remember where. Anyway, there's nothing more Alter Ego can do to help us. As such, his role in this is over. Am I wrong about that? No, but... And frankly, I question the ease with which you decide who is and isn't your friend. Do you really mean that? The story's gotten off track. We should go over what Alter Ego said one more time. I'm getting, like, vaguely transatlantic British sometimes, and I think it's because I just played Slay the Princess and my voices are all over. Yeah, good idea. What was the Hope's Peak staff thinking? Why are they making us kill each other? Alter Ego said that what happened one year ago is what started everything. Yeah, he said it was the biggest, most awful, most hopeless event in human history, right? It must have been a huge incident, whatever it was. Something like that really happened a year ago? I don't remember anything happening that you could describe that way. What about you guys? I don't really watch the news, so... Sorry, nothing comes to mind. Hey, girl. Hey, girl. I'm doing good. I'm sleepy, but I got the zoomies. I'm feeling great. My water's full of dust. How are you doing? What you up to this Friday Eve? That event led to the closing of Hope's Peak. If nothing else, it must have had some kind of connection to the school. Maybe all the students here were killed or something! That kind of catastrophe would have been all over the news. At least one of us would remember that. Then maybe they covered it up! That would explain why none of us knew that the school had been shut down! Totally covering up something like that. I suppose it's not totally impossible. What's wrong with our government? Our taxes pay their salaries. They should be handling stuff like that. Maybe, but right now there's only one path open to us. We have to find the headmaster of Hope's Peak Academy. We have to find him and make him tell us everything. As long as we can get our hands on him, I think. Kyoko? When she said headmaster, I got that feeling again. <gasps> oh! I'm eating some yummy, yummy coconut rolls with banana. Oh my gosh. 
That makes me want chocolate covered coconut and chocolate covered banana. That sounds so good right now. I could go for a banana. I need more potassium. Not gonna lie, that's a nice ass school. Yeah, if you could go here for free, would you? <laughs> I'm so hungry. I ate. Why am I so hungry? I guess I could eat potatoes. Maybe I'll take a little break later. Because I, I kind of want to finish a good chunk of this, or at least stream for a decent amount. I don't know. Is the murder included? No, that's a uh, that's extra tuition. Um, depending if you're in state or from out of state. <laughs> but even that is a problem not so easily solved. Yeah, you're right. Well, our business is done here, so for now we should get out of here. Oh yeah, good idea. Then I, do. Huh? Is it really that dusty? Wait, I mean. Oh no, I'm not waiting anymore. Not guarding it. Yuck is gonna be so mad at me. Let's avoid getting involved any further. Good call. But as we left the dressing room, someone was there waiting for us. Hello! My Hold on, drink some Gatorade. Oh, I really should refill my water so it's not full of dust. Mm. Taking a sip or two of Gatorade instead. Mm. Oh, you ever drink something cold and you feel it go down, but instead of like straight down your esophagus, it like goes into a boob or something? That's so... Ah. I don't have gamer girl bath water. I'm all out. My heart is pound, pound, pounding away. It's pounding with anger. You're not so mad about the whole breaking into the headmaster's room thing, are you? Oh, that little matter doesn't matter even a little. And I'm just a little jealous of you guys enjoying an indecent mixed bath. But that doesn't matter either. It's building. I feel it building. My head's about to boil over with rage. Don't get so angry. Here, let me help you center your chakra. I don't know if I've seen this sprite either. Etch this on the walls of your brain, okay? When you do something to me, I do it right back. An eye for an eye, a fang for a fang. Fang for a fang? Be careful, you just chanted the incantation of devastation. No, it's just a saying. Oh, I see. What's he talking about? Ding dong, bing bong. <laughs> oh my god, I had to run so far. Th this room is on the other side of the school. It's so fucking far away. <clears throat> That's officially... Oh, I should drink wine. After running so much. Okay. So, it's nighttime. What does everyone want to do? Celeste was the one who suggested our nighttime rule, but she's gone now. I think we should still avoid being out at night time. I know it'll make me feel better that way. I agree. Very well then. In that case, time for bed. What is this blinking thing on the top right? It's kind of bugging me. So everyone headed back to their rooms. Minokuma's parting words left me feeling anxious the rest of the night. I miss Celeste. I liked her British accent. Oi! <laughs> her very accurate British accent that didn't travel to different provinces or countries. <laughs> Once I was back in my room, I got lost in thought. What we'd learned from Alter Ego kept on spinning around and around in my mind. The administrators of Hope Peak had planned all of this. Oops. Oh, sorry. Hit a button. The administrators of... They did because of the tragedy which had happened a year before. And apparently the headmaster is the one behind all... Oh, is the one behind it all. The mastermind. All these mysteries make me worried. But I still have to try and unravel them bit by bit. I'm sure the road will be long and tough, but I don't have any other choice. Oi, I'm dead! <laughs> Ooh. Oh. <gasps> These coconut rolls are shaped like dog treats, so I feel like a dog while eating these! Oh my gosh, that's excellent. Wait, what? 
Let's talk a bit about where I was before I became a bear. What? Yeah, tell me more about that, I guess. At first, I was at a total loss. I just had no idea what I should become. A lady in our tech support department suggested I try being a shrimp. She was like, oh, the company's been trying to push for this forever. It's really an incredible offer. But as she laid all the details, it turned out it wasn't a tiger prawn like I hoped, but a little popcorn shrimp. That's totally tiny. I would have been the world's smallest mascot. Oh my god, someone needs to mod this game and make Minokuma a shrimp. <laughs> I have seen pictures. I think, isn't she in the second game or whatever one they go to the island to? Or she's all pink. I know nothing else beside her about, besides that she is pink. I guess I know her pronouns now. <laughs> I like eating shrimp. I don't want to be one myself. Plus someone might come along and step on me. And then the lady sto totally started laughing at me. She was like, you think we can do a tiger prawn on our budget? But ultimately, I decided to become a bear instead. And that's the origin story of Minokuma. Good to know. So he could have been a shrimp? This would have been way better if he was a shrimp. Ding dong bing bong. I want him to be a shrimp. Good morning! Another stupid day of not being a shrimp. Do you guys believe in the crab theory? <laughs> <laughs> first things first, I'm a realist. I need to head to the dining hall. Alright. Oh, should I see... I don't... I don't know how many uh, coins I have, but maybe we should see... I always forget that's laundry. That's the bath. Ah, we'll do it later. I guess he did say first things first. The crab theory... It's the theory that we'll all turn into crabs, and everything turns into a crab. We all will be crabs one day. Join us. Pinchy, 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 pinchy. As I entered the dining hall, the first thing I saw was her. What are you staring at? Ah, uh, Toko? What do you mean, why? Don't you want to be crab? Don't you want to be crab with all of us? Answer me this. Answer me this one question. When you pick up a little, um, like, tongs for cooking, do you click them together? Click, click, click. That sounds pretty crab-like to me. Pinch, pinch, pinch. What? You think your eyes will just rot by just looking at me? Fine, then don't look at me! I think he's just surprised to see you at the breakfast meeting, is all. Indeed. It's been quite a while since you joined us. Yeah, what made you change your mind? Biakia said he likes a girl to have some meat on her bones, so... I'm gonna start eating! I'm gonna force it down into my stomach! I'm gonna eat till I drop! I refused to lose! I wouldn't do that if I were you. Well, other than that, it looks like Kyoko here. Oh, she said she'd come by later. Ah, she's dead! I mean, whatever, I'll talk about it later. Later? Yeah, after you leave. She's not even trying to hide it anymore. By the screen, are you just a crab? I mean... Th those are my claws. Pinch, pinch, pinch. I know I said she wanted you to show some backbone, but you didn't need to show her that much. You're dirty, Makoto! Dirty! President Dirty of Dirtlandia! You don't understand! You're the type who takes the stairs of love three steps at a time, aren't you? I'm telling you, it's not like that. Just shut up already, Hina. I am... confused. So... One, I could never get this voice down. But two... Like... So... So Toku has, like... These two, you know, personas. But neither of them really seem to care, you know? Because I thought the Genocide Jill side of things was like, oh, I'm so in love with Biakia, and also I want to murder things, and blah, blah, blah. Um, but now I feel like it's like, oh, 
I am Toko and I love Biakia. I'm Genocide Jill. I hate Biakia. And I want to know, like, what happened? I guess, like, I feel like maybe I'm either misremembering something, but I thought Toko was just like, you know, she was smitten with Biakia and she was following him around, but I thought that, oh, whatever. I don't know. I'm getting too much into it. This crab has some major voice acting skills. Thank you. Thank you very much. Thanks. Parked safely in the garage. Near my garage. Good. Excellent. I'm sorry if I was... I kind of... for Like, I knew you were driving. I kind of forgot you were listening while you were driving. I'm sorry if that was unlistenable. And, uh, you know, <laughs> made you swerve or something. But, yeah, cool, cool, cool. I'm just real quick going to talk, 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 because I have a hangnail. That hurts. Okay, I got it. I got it very smoothly, actually. I, I've been having this weird issue where, like, my nails are splitting in half. Like, not down the middle, but, like, if you looked at a nail, like a really thin sandwich, like it's coming apart like that. I don't know why. Like, I don't know what vitamin I need to take for that to not be the case. It's like, it doesn't hurt, but I feel like it's causing more unpleasant hangnails. And also I'm worried my nails are just going to pop up. You kept me awake quite well. <laughs> oh, good. <laughs> Glad to hear it. Very nice. <laughs> Oh, yeah. Like, I don't know what to do about it. I feel like it must be some vitamin issue. Okay. Oh, God, what do you sound like? I've been doing your voice for 50 minutes. What do you sound like? And also, I... I keep talking to myself to try to, like, think of what's happening. But... It's... So, we... What did we do with Kyoko? I I knew like we did a bath or something, but ha! Detective Mew Dio giving me a hundred little adorable cute corgis. They're licking the screen. That's adorable. Oh my goodness. Oh, Detective Mew Dio, you're being too sweet to me. You're being you're being too sweet to this crab. I I pinch in your direction in gratitude and delight. Your nails, you mean your crab claw things? Yeah, that's what I meant. Um, sometimes I just boil my claws and then I eat the meat. Oh, real quick, getting out of the bit. Crab meat, crab legs right now. Ooh, I haven't had crab legs in years. I need some right now. I wonder if I could just go out and buy crab legs at the grocery store. Like, how hard do you think it is? Surely it's just boiling them at a certain time and temperature, right? I could make my own crab legs. They'd be expensive. But, oh, crab legs I haven't had in years. I could really go for some crab legs. I am so hungry <laughs> for a lot of things. Maybe I'll treat myself to a little DoorDash or something. I shouldn't, but a little treat. Oh, I love my sweet crab. Oh, my sweet boy. Hey, little guy. What you doing? Why are you so small? That's not the same bit, but I, I do say that to little baby things. Oh, hey. What are you doing, little guy? What you doing down there? Why are you so small? Why are you so short? <laughs> uh, I don't have an Arby's that close. I have a Wendy's. Is that close enough? <gasps> Asparagus. I want to go to Red... Does Red Lobster... Hold on. I'm sorry. I need a Google of Red Lobster has crab legs. Does Red Lobster have crab legs? A full pound of crab legs. Not enough. I need more. Wendy's trash. I've only had Wendy's once in my life. I like the curly fries. I remember liking them. Um. Oh my gosh, those crab legs. Can we go to Red Lobster? Oh my gosh, can we go to Red Lobster? Hold on. Let's, I gotta look at when my local Red Lobster's open. It's not far. 
Oh, it's open late. Ooh. We could go as early as 11 a.m. tomorrow. Oh, yeah, poor Sugar Cube. We'll never know the joy of the mush inside of the crab. The sea spider. Oh, my gosh. I've never gotten the crab legs at Red Lobster because I think I mostly went there as a kid, so I only got, like, popcorn shrimp and stuff. Oh, my gosh. I need... I need these crab legs. Mutia, how soon can we go to Red Lobster? Can we go immediately? <laughs> I need crab. I need pudding and I need crab. Oh, you might like it, but not in the unironic way. <laughs> Like, Red Lobster is the seafood of, like, you know when you eat a pizza that's so disgusting, or a burger that's so disgusting, and it's horrible, and you would not recommend it to anyone, but it's, like, so good to stuff your face in? Hmm. Hmm. That's good. <laughs> we can go tomorrow if you like. Yeah, we can tell we can tell everyone we're going out as at a fancy uh Valentine's date. And we're like, yeah, oh, oh, they're proposing to me over the crab legs. And then maybe we'll get the crab legs for free. I still want Korean bar barbecue. I need some I need some pork getting pulled away. I need like a um Pulled pork. I need a pulled pork sandwich. Okay, that's it. I gotta door dash something after all this. Um, not much is gonna be open, but I, I need it. I like rubbish food. Rubbish seafood worries me because of how much it does to my intestines. Like, I think it changes the genetic material if it's too gross. But I'd go to Red Lobster. The Cheddar Bay Biscuits, at least, will be really good. Oh, insert gif of Haruhi eating crab legs. Bro. I, I love that. And I know it's played for comedy in the context of that scene, but that crab leg looks so good. It's the juiciest crab leg I've ever seen. And also, did you know that the voice actress was eating a Snickers bar uh, while doing that scene? Fancy. I really am just Haruhi, huh? Like, I... Like, would I sell my body for money? No, of course not. But would I sell it for food? In a heartbeat. Depending on the food, in a heartbeat. <laughs> I am Haruhi, and I want that crab leg. <laughs> <sighs> anyway... Toko, you're not as interesting as Red Lobster. I'm sorry. None of you are as interesting as Red Lobster. <sighs> how am I going to go on with this stream now? All I'm thinking about is Red Lobster and how I'm going to have to wait like 24 hours to get it. <sighs> You've been running your filthy mouth like that all morning. Oh yeah, because... Oh, filthy me! Yeah! Poor. <laughs> BR BRB gotta go raid the local Red Lobster. <laughs> Don't make me repeat myself. I'm not filthy. It's no use denying it. We would all see how disgusting you are. Shut up. <laughs> Bitch. Oh! <laughs> Toko, you're going through the classic... <laughs> baby gay experience. You and that lusty body of yours. Night after night, you go out for your illicit club meetings. Hey, knock it off. I can't deal with dirty stuff like that. <laughs> wow. I mean, I know they've, seen, they've been saying things like piss and damn and I think maybe shit once. But, uh... A sextracurricular... Wow, they just put it out there. Pulls up BuzzFeed quiz. Yeah. 
I is the BuzzFeed quiz either <laughs> am I Haruhi or am I Crab? And the answer is yes to both. I I'd take a or on high school host club BuzzFeed quiz right now. <laughs> That could hit just right. That could fill the void that crab legs cannot at the moment. Oh yeah, the canon. Am I gay? Take it, Toko. Take the am I gay quiz. <laughs> Your midnight extracurricular activities only put us in work. You're having sex too much. This shrimp is gonna kill us. You know the classic horror movie tropes. You have the jock, the virgin, the slut, the shrimp, the stoner. Stop it. You'd like me to stop, wouldn't you? Your sweaty hands. <laughs> Wait, your sweaty hands gripping the big, fat, chalk tight. Oh, she means literal chalk. I thought... Never mind. Oh my god! Going for all that sextra credit. Your screams are like the screech of a violated blackboard. And, and. <laughs> what is this game? Why does this get. Every time I'm like, okay, surely this will kind of plateau in weirdness and then increase in quality of story as we progress. But every time, there's something so weird. <laughs> it's amazing. And decent ideas are coming one on after another. You like Biakia. I mean, get it, girl. I like them both, too. That's fair. <laughs> Hold on. So, would you rather have a black eye on the left or the right? Hey. <laughs> sorry, sorry, sorry. Let's leave Toko alone. She's gone a little funny from all her pent-up frustration. Also, I did want to voice act all of that, but I'm a little self-conscious because my roommate just got home and I don't want her to hear me scream crazy-like about sexcapades, okay? Sorry if that's weird. <laughs> I just don't have the confidence to do that right now. I'm too hungry to think about anything but crab legs. That's where my confidence is. Every gay person took... It is a canon event. And did you ever do the thing too where you would take a quiz before and after it too? So if your parents saw your search history, you could at least... Deny, like, oh, I was just taking a bunch of quizzes. Ah. So I did that. I'm back. And you're dehydrating me. Your roommate must be worried for you sometimes. Yeah. I definitely yell a lot of out of context things. Um, I also deleted my history, but I was always worried there would be a way they could get it back. Ugh. Man, but I stream in the basement now. When I streamed in the living room, in the major communal area, definitely yelled out a lot of different things. <laughs> My mouth just farted, I'm sorry. I'm making a lot of weird noises unintentionally with my mouth. Farty noises, squeaky noises, tappy noises, all that. I have to take random ice cream. And what ice cream are you? Uh, mint chocolate chip. Ha ha. Ugh. Anyway, you and Kyoko need to make up already, you know? Yeah, I know. What happened? I don't remember what happened. As far as I know, I had like an option to be like, yes, no. And she's like, I hate you. <laughs> okay. I mean, of course I want things to get better as soon as possible. With everything that's been going on, I haven't had a chance to talk to her about what I saw. Before anything, I need to talk to Sakura about it. Oh my god, I'm so embarrassed. What did we see? I guess we'll talk to her. Uh, Sakura? What is it? Can you make some time later? I was hoping I could talk to you. Ah, uh, get butt out of our conversations. Christ almighty, Hina. Ah, now that Kyoko's dumped him, Makoto's trying to win Sakura's heart. You're just embarrassed that I didn't ask you first. 
Are you in heat, Makoto? Stop. Get some help. Oh my god. Don't care who they are as long as they've got the right equipment. Watch out, Sakura. Makoto's transformed into a wild beast. Prime Minister Wild Beast of Beastopia. Hey, don't read out my Zootopia fanfiction titles. Also something I delete from my search history. Also, I did have a little Gatorade. Thank you. Why is this happening to me? Can our talk wait until tomorrow? I'd like to get some rest today. For some reason, I've been feeling worn down these last few days. Huh? Are you sick? Did you get hurt? No, nothing serious. I've just had some minor aches and pains. Huh? Is that... Oh, must be because of that battle. Oh, right, that's what we saw. But it must be pretty bad if you have to go rest. Are you sure you're okay? I'm sure a protein shake and some sleep will get me back on my feet. That's true. Protein is good for all kinds of stuff. Aw. You guys, like, worship protein. It's like a god or something. Makoto, I don't know what it is you want to talk to Sakura about, but save it till tomorrow. She's in pain. Yeah, I got it. Sorry. Well, for now, let's eat. Eat? I'm kind of nervous. Huh? How come? Because I don't usually eat in front of other people. Ever since I was a kid, I eat by myself. What about your family? Oh, well, I used to live with my dad, my mom, and my mom. You had two moms. Wow, wow, wow. Get it? Because it's like 2004 and gay. What? That's just how things were. That's like a serious issue. I was joking. Heroes homophobic. Just let it go. You're asking for trouble getting involved with her more than you have to. How dare you speak to me with that disgusting mouth of yours? Stop saying stuff like that. Anyway, I'm gonna go ahead and eat. Hey, sweet boy. Aww. He's come down for pets. He's come down for pets. You've come down for pets. How you doing? Get in bed, head? Did you greet our roommate and say happy hello? Yeah. He's a good boy. Anyway. Anyway. If I don't, Kyoko will never show up. Pretty miserable situation, man. <laughs> my god, let me pet. Me when my dog's running away from me. Let me pet. My son. My son. My boy. Oh, he's so cute. Oh my goodness. He wants something from me, I think, but... We're taking a nap. You gonna sleep? Yeah, get comfy cozy on the blanket. Get comfy cozy on the blanket. Yeah. There's a good boy. Don't mind me, just 10 minutes of me petting my dog. Um, he is a Brazilian Terrier mix. Um, I believe he is 14 years old. No, 13 years old. Um, although, no, he's... Yeah, he's 13. Um, so he's old, man. He's about 20 pounds. I think last time he was like 17 and a half pounds. He's getting old. He's getting slim and trim because he's old. And he has the softest ears. Um, if you look up dog button ears, he has those kind of ears. Um, he got long legs for his size. And he's very, very soft. The softest dog in the whole wide world. Oh, and I love him. Yeah. Just when we, when we needed the treat reward most, he vanished. <laughs> Okay, hold on. I'm giving a free one for you guys, because I did turn it off, but he is here. Yeah? What is this? One moment. Oh. 
Yeah, you guys like that shit. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Oh, you look sleepy, Mr. Man. A-S-M-R. Yum, 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 yum. His ears are the best part of him. They're the softest part. His tummy's pretty soft, too, but his ears are just... Oh, I want to chew on him. I scarfed down breakfast as fast as I could and immediately headed back to my room. I have to wait till tomorrow to confront Sakura about what I saw. But no way, I'm kind of relieved. It takes a lot of courage to stand face to face with Sakura and accuse her or something. Free time! Now I can go get, uh, coins and stuff. I should stop by the shop. Yeah, let's see. Where's the shop? I forgot where the shop is. Okay. So let's go to... Let's go ride a bike up to the highest height. Here we go. I don't think I have any coins, but I want to see. I guess I can see what kind of stuff I have, and then I can go talk to people. As needed. Oh, I have ten coins. Okay. Let's do all ten. Why not? It's not like a neti pot. All right, well, that that's all I got. <laughs> I should probably get going. Okay, let us take a peek, see at what we have. We have mineral water? We don't. I wish it would tell us what we had. I guess we can just go talk to whoever. It's fine. I'm not, not that invested to get 10 out of 10 or whatever. Okay, where is everyone? Okay. Um. Oh, I want to bug these guys. Yeah. What if I just take a peek? See, nameplate on the door says Headmaster's Room. All right, helpful. Helpful. Hi. I'm just gonna mosey on by. Also, by the way, I didn't mention it. Detect Media, thank you so much for telling me the time of when it starts. That was very helpful. Trash can. Uh, Biakia, what's up? What's the matter? Thinking about who you might like to kill? Well, choose wisely. In this game, loss means nothing less than death. Uh, should I hang out with Biakia for a while? I think that would be the funniest answer. Fine, I don't mind allowing you to indulge in my attention. I hope you appreciate this. Yeah, wasn't it like a Frozen 3, Zootopia 2, and Toy Story 5? And I think something else? I, I'm honestly not excited. I'll watch them, I guess. Like, when my girlfriend's over, we usually watch like two movies. The first movie is something we really want to see or we really want to show the other person an experience together. And the second one is like, all right, I'm getting tired. Let's just put something on to fall asleep to. And like Moana 2 is going to be one of those movies. And Zootopia 2 and all that. Frozen 2 was a cash grab. Oh, you could never be annoying, Mudia. That was very helpful. And I appreciate it a lot. Not annoying. I, at this point, I feel like Disney is just a cash grab, but whatever. I spent some time with Biakia. We were in the bath! Biakia and I grew a little closer today. I'm sure that will definitely change the outcome of our relationship and the story. Would you like to give Biakia a present? Yeah, definitely. Pulls out my middle finger. Hmm, <laughs> he might like coffee. Well, do I have any notes written down? 
I wrote down Byakia Togami, intelligent know it all. <laughs> all right. Um. Oh, I don't have any of that. Oh, oh, this makes it a lot easier to scroll. No. 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 So you vegetarians are out there covered too. Oh, yeah. Um... Yeah, it's Despicable Me 4, because the first one was the first one, the second one was he gets girlfriend, third one is he gets brother, and fourth one is he gets son. It all sucks. <laughs> oh. You can just eat the bird seed. Hmm. This might be a good one for Toko. Um. Uh. Oh, he might like this one, the scarab. I'm just going through all of them. <laughs> no, no, no. Mmm, I like this bra. They, they should have stopped it too. I haven't seen the third one. I heard it's like kind of fun, but they should have stopped it too. I really don't remember anything. Oh! I guess Toko would like that, actually. One toy. Hmm. I, what would he like? I think he would just like the food, maybe. Um, jujitsu, no, not gaming. Or no, he wanted the scarab. I'll just give him the scarab. Let me just go all the way back. Okay. I think that's my- and he's gonna be like, I hate it! But, I mean... <gasps> oh. Now this is a rare moment. Coming from a noble family, I've never been exposed to such vulgarity. See, I'm going between like, yeah, vulgarity into vulgarity. It's like he doesn't have an accent. I don't know why I keep giving him it. Interesting. I think I'll keep it. Oh! Oh, that actually warms my heart. This little asshole. I love him. I do kind of ironically like Despicable Me 3. The soundtrack is fun. And like the villain character design. I do like the character design. That's kind of all I know about it. Um, and it doesn't look like the animation has gone down either. Like the quality of it. So I'm, I'm sure it's fine. I feel like the first one is still kind of the best. The, the other two don't... I don't feel as much heart coming from those two, but I don't know. Seeing Byakia so pleased with something I gave him makes me happy. I have a question for you. Huh? You do? Something's been bothering me for a while now, and I can't take it anymore. So to answer my question, I need you to explain to me what exactly your ultimate lucky student title means. Ah, oh, well, I don't totally get it myself, but what I do know is that I was picked at random from a pool of normal students. So you just got into Hope's Peak by blind luck. I see. Well, that answers my question. What was the question? How a commoner like you with absolutely no unique talents or abilities could get into the school? Ah, oh, I forgot to mention boring. How a boring, untalented, utterly generic commoner got in. Boring? Generic? Do you really have to list all that off? But it's the truth. Maybe you compare to you, the ultimate affluent progeny and all. But even I... You seem to think that's merely an issue of title. But make no mistake. My lineage, intelligence, f figure... Figure? Athletic ability? They are all ultimate. 
Which is to say, I am the ultimate perfection. Feel free to begin calling me that, in fact. He's really taking this to the extreme. This guy's starting to remind me of, a uh, Taka. <laughs> Three isn't good, I just kinda like it. Just like how I feel about Red Lobster. <laughs> Excellent. It's not good, I just kinda like it. <laughs> You have nothing. I, who have everything. We are living proof that not all men are created equal. You have my pity, Makoto. Life can be very cruel indeed. And because I pity you so much, perhaps someday I'll allow you to hear my tale of glory. Consider it a blessing, a gift from- Having finished his mean-spirited lecture, Byakuya left me standing there in silence. Crab people, crab. People. Everything returns to crab people. I am somewhat decompressed. Now, to relax. Good. Ow. Oh. Whoa. I'm only 25, so I feel weird calling myself an old person. But old people, do you ever just, like, your body does something and you're like, Why? How could it have- why did it just do that so suddenly and why is- what is happening? Ah, something like in the back of my sinuses like pulse it and- oh, that was not pleasant. <laughs> anyway, I learned one thing about Byakia today. He's a little bitch. Anytime I talk to him, I need to be prepared for extreme psychological trauma. Because your program makes me he just looks so cool and composed. My shoulders dislocate every so often for no reason. That's definitely worse than what I just experienced. Whew, it didn't hurt. It just, like, it felt like the same sensation as water going up your nose, like, fully. Um, oh yeah. That was surprising. I was like, I'm drowning. <laughs> no, I'm not. I did my best to keep my spirit from shattering like glass and went back to my room. Oh, I didn't get to talk to Toko! I want to talk to Toko. I'm... Yeah, I have plenty of time, so I should have gone and talked to the person who's in the in the room with me. Hapa mobility. Man, I'm grabbing my tit in shock and fear. Oh, oh, everyone's moved. I'm, I see. Okay, I want to talk to Toko and see what cool ability she gives me, because if. Yaka give me calm and composed. Is she gonna give me like crazy and eccentric? Yeah. <laughs> What's up? You wanna go on a murder spree with me? Oh, is it really a good idea to hang out with Genocide Jack? Yeah. Um I like that they go back between calling her Jack and Jill. Um It'd be really funny if the game just ended because she murdered me. You want me to kill ya or something? You're not even close to getting me heated up. Oh, I should have talked to Toko before, because she was just Toko. Dang it. Yeah, what are you gonna do, relax? Should you? Eating cake! Oh, I want cake. I'm so... You guys want to look at DoorDash with me real quick? <laughs> I shouldn't. I can't. I simply cannot. But... Wouldn't it taste so good? Mm. Guys, what should I get? I could get McDonald's. McDonald's does sound pretty good. There's also Culver's. Um, Wendy's. Mmm. <laughs> Culver's. Ah. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> Taco Bell sounds really good, though. Oh man, all of this is gonna destroy- I- I can't. It's gonna destroy my digestive system. But it's so good. <sighs> I have potatoes in the fridge, I'll just eat that. That is good. And I don't have any sweet treats that are good. Like, I have sweet treats, but I don't have a cold sweet treat. <laughs> <laughs> oh, man. Anyway. You're not even close to getting me heated up. 
The time I spent with the murderous fiend was almost valuable. Did I just get a little closer to Genocide Jack? Yes. Give her the scissors. <gasps> I want Oreo ice cream. I was just- I just saw on, um, Culver's they had, uh, a concrete mixer with Oreos, and that looked really good. Well, she likes scissors, so I'll give it to her. I was gonna give her the other one, but maybe she'll want a new pair of scissors. Hey, is this? <laughs> oh. It's a bomb disguised as a present! You're working with everyone else to try and kill me! Well, allow me to return the favor, you bastard! I think I made her mad. She probably thinks worse of me now. Ah, But doesn't she want scissors? Scissors? Bing dong, bing bong. Well, it looks like you fucked up the second gift exchange thing, so... Oh. Go to the gym, but it's night time. Night time. You made a special announcement to ask us to come to the gym? They sounded pretty serious about it, too. Oh, the scary music is playing. I'm always scared to look behind me in this hallway. This hallway is so scary. Even though, like, no one gets murdered in that area. It's all, all out and about here. Um... I should see where to go. Oh, I'm burping so much. Oh wait, it's daytime now. What? It was just nighttime, and now it's day- Now it's nighttime again. Alright. You're the first one here. Oh. No. You are the last one. Everyone else is already inside. Aren't you gonna go in? I have a bad feeling about this. More than just a feeling, probably. Onokuma did call us all together, after all. Hmm. Sakura? Makoto. If something happens to me... Hina. Huh? No, never mind. Uh, I'm... Who would ever believe in someone who doesn't believe in themselves? Uh, Sakura. Oh no. Are they like sisters or something? Everyone must have heard the announcement, and once we were all gathered at the gym, it began. Ooh, what's gonna happen? Ooh, it's like the beginning. Hello. He's so cute. Okay, let's get this show on the road. You're about to give us your next motive presentation, aren't you? Huh? You got us all together to present another motive, right? He is right? We have to go through this again? Oh, uh, no, not again. I can't take it anymore. I'm impressed by your level of dismay. You finally see just how low on the totem pole you have life you really are. No, 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 no. No, 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 no! That's not it at all! We're not here to talk about motive! The reason I gathered you all here is so I could get rid of my grudge. Your grudge? We have a grudge against you, of course, but I don't recall you ever having a grudge against us. I told you yesterday, didn't I? An eye for an eye, a fang for a fang! Stop beating around the bush. Just tell us what you're talking about. Well, Byakia, you've already told everyone how one of you might be working as a spy for me, right? Yeah, so what about it? Well, today I'd like to tell you about that spy. What? So guess what? The spy is actually Sakura Gami! I don't believe it. <laughs> he said so openly, made it sound like it wasn't that big of a deal. Even though he just revealed a huge secret. What? What did you just say? He said the spy is Sakura. Sakura. I keep saying Sakura. Sakura. I think- I think isn't it Sakura? Not Sakura? <laughs> Whatever. Well, what are you talking about? There's- there's no way Sakura is a spy. Right, Sakura? I don't think she is the spy. I think he's just like, 
Get her, guys. Get her, because she wronged me. Get her. Sakura. And I just might make Sakura fulfill the promise she made sometime soon. And if she doesn't, I can't be responsible for what might happen to that hostage of mine. Anyway, that's all I wanted to say. What you guys choose to do with that information is up to you. Dude, one of my boobs is way bigger than the other. <laughs> Sorry, TMI, but... I'm just like, my body is making all these weird things. I just realized one of my boobs is bigger than the other. <laughs> and my digital footprint is fucked. Roast her, boil her, kill her, don't kill her, whatever. <laughs> Either way, I can't wait. Just like that, he was gone. Finally, I understood what he'd been talking about. An eye for an eye, a fang for a fang. In other words, betrayal would be met with betrayal. Um, so what does this mean? Is it true? Has Ogre really been spying on us for the Mastermind? What are you saying? There's no way. But that's what the stuffed animal said, right? Well, he's wrong. There's just no way. Well, Sakura, if he's wrong, all you have to do is tell us. I'm sorry I didn't tell you earlier. What? Then he was being serious for serious? Ogre's been working for the Mastermind? I'm sorry. So you've been lying to us all this time? It's not true. Sakura was probably being controlled. There's gotta be some some reason she didn't have a choice. She was just forced to do it. Yeah, I'm sure Hina's right. The Mastermind probably threatened her somehow, and Sakura had no choice to do what she was told. What? You're talking about like you know that for a fact. Because I do know it for a fact. Because I saw it. I saw Sakura and Minokuma fighting. And that's when I heard it. Minokuma mentioned a hostage a second ago, right? And during their fight, I heard Sakura say she'd decided to fight against the Mastermind. You saw that? Mastermind took a hostage, so you were forced to swear loyalty to them, right? But in the end, you made up your mind to betray the Mastermind. Which means Sakura isn't our enemy. She's a friend who we can trust without question. Is that it? Ridiculous. Do you live in some sort of alternate reality fairy tale? She was the Mastermind's tool. You can abs- You can uh, <laughs> You absolutely cannot trust someone like that. He's right. We can't just believe whatever she says now. How can we even be sure she really did betray the Mastermind? Maybe this is a double bluff and she's still doing exactly what the Mastermind wants. Sakura would never do that. Okay, then, Sakura, if you really have cut ties with the Mastermind, tell us who they really are. Well, sorry, I can't. Even I don't know that. You don't know? That just makes you all the more suspicious. She's telling the truth! You have to believe her! Shut up. I'm not done finishing. <laughs> I meant- <laughs> I just realized I said I'm not done finishing. <laughs> Whatever, you know what I meant. Next question. What's this about a promise? What did the Mastermind order you to do? I was told to kill one of my friends. It suddenly felt like the temperature in the room had dropped 20 degrees. The weight of those words. I see. So even now you've taken aim on our lives. You're wrong. I'm telling you. Sakura would never do that. You don't have to yell. We can hear you just fine. Don't you have an inside voice? It's because you're not listening to me. Please, stop. You don't need to defend me anymore. I have to take full responsibility for this. How do you intend to do that? By destroying the Mastermind. What? I'm going to challenge them. Even if it means we both go down, I will defeat them. That is how I intend to take responsibility. Hold on. What do you mean if you both go down? Hina, I'm sorry I didn't tell you about this. What? I didn't know what to do. I went back and forth about confiding in you again and again. But I was scared. I thought if I told you, you might think less of me. Sakura! I'm sorry. Sakura turned away from us and left the gym. And then... Ding dong bing bong. <laughs> this is a school announcement. It is now 10 p.m. As such, it is officially nighttime. Soon the doors to the dining hall will be locked, and entry at that point is strictly prohibited. 
Okay then, sweet dreams, everyone. Good night. Sleep tight. Don't let the bugs bugs blah 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 blah. blah. Well, it's night time. We should all go to bed. Hold on. This whole thing with Sakura is over. She's our enemy. There's nothing more to discuss. No, Sakura is not our enemy. Why? Why doesn't anyone understand her? What is it that you think? What is it you think you understand? You don't even know who she really was. That's. Let it go for now, Hina. Talking about it isn't going to help anything. But. Go to your room. Cool down. We can continue this discussion tomorrow. It was the worst. The mood at the end of the night was just the worst. Being in such an awful mood, we were honestly glad the day was over. Sakura is the spy. She's the traitor. Byakya said Sakura is the enemy. But he's wrong. She's not my enemy. She's my friend, without a doubt. But what can I do? What can I do to make everyone believe in Sakura? How? I'm gonna see who gets murdered, and then we will stop the stream. Crab. Oh, it's the game of life. <laughs> as long as you're human, there will always come a point where you wish you could do things differently. Even a baseball player in the major leagues. Even a soccer player touring Europe. Even a famous singer who started her career as a backup dancer on a sketch comedy show. She makes a brilliant debut, but instead of going for more, she marries some third-rate actor and retires. Every human has regrets, has things they'd like to go back and change. But I don't, because I'm a bear. You weren't always a bear. Okay, I guess that's the end of that. Ding dong, bing bong. Good morning, everyone. Not to time to shine. It's going to be a beautiful day. Okay. Where's the body? I'm worried about Sakura. I need to hurry up and get to the dining hall. And I'm sure all five of my friends will be there without incident. Oh, hey. What's up? You're still alive. Kyoko, good morning. All right. Still ignoring me. Is she really that mad at me? Actually, it's not just Kyoko. Ever since Monokuma summoned us last night, the atmosphere around here has gotten really heavy. I can almost feel it looming over us, weighing us down. Ugh. Well, if nothing else, I need to patch things up with Kyoko as soon as possible. I have a feeling you won't have that opportunity. Okay, oh, all my five friends are here. Ah, oh, Makoto, are you okay? Uh, what do you mean? We have the same voice. Whoops. You were late, so we were worried about you. What a dullard. Toko, Byakya, what are you doing here? They're taking refuge here. Refuge? Don't make that stupid face. We have to protect ourselves against the Mastermind's tool. Mastermind's- are you talking about Sakura? Oh wait, Sakura's not here. Oh, I, f oh, I forgot six people. Seven including me. I forgot. That's when I finally noticed. The only one that wasn't in the dining hall was Sakura. Huh? Where is Sakura? All I know is, if she were here, I wouldn't be. The only reason I went out of my way to join the rest of you is a safeguard against that threat. Threat? Why, why do you hate her so much? Isn't it obvious? Because this makes things unfair. Unfair? The game should be fair to all players. The existence of a spy for the Mastermind upsets that balance. That's a stupid reason. Stupid? This is a life or death game, is it not? Ow. It is stupid. You're a stupid idiot. Before you get too far into your argument, maybe you should stop and think things through. Why did the Mastermind reveal that Sakya was the spy to us? They were getting revenge on her, right? Like when Okuma said, an eye for an eye. That may be part of it, but it's not the whole picture. Revealing that fact was also meant to serve as the next motive the Mastermind wanted to give us. Chaos and confusion born from suspicion. The hatred. In other words, this right here, the fighting, the bickering, is the trap the, master the Mastermind set for us. Knowing that, will you still stand there and argue like children? That's not what I'm trying to do, it's just... I mean, how could I get you guys to believe in Sakura again? If she really can beat the Mastermind like she said, I'd go a long way in my mind. 
idiot, you'd really ask her to do something so dangerous? Baka, what if something terrible happens to her? It wouldn't matter. What? If Sakya were to die, that's one less person for the mastermind to control. I have no problem with that. Hold on, Byakia! In fact, if she did die, that would settle this entire issue, wouldn't it? It would put the whole problem to rest. Oh! <gasps> Oh, she's left-handed. Unless she backhanded him. Oh my gosh. What the hell? You disgust me. You're you're a monster. Say something like that. It should have been you. You should have been the one to die. As opposed to who? I should have died. Interesting. Then are you planning to take care of that yourself? Go ahead. Try it if you dare. If that's how it works. That's how it works here after all. You think I can't do it? Hina, calm down. This is exactly what the Mastermind wants, and exactly what Sakura doesn't want. What's wrong? Lost your nerve? I'm leaving. I'll be in my room. Trembling with anger, Hina ran off. That stupid cow! How dare she! She could die a thousand deaths! No, a million! So she's just another hysterical little girl, hardly worth my attention. It's what other people call having feelings, Byakia. All you can do is mock them for it. What's wrong with that? A friendly word of warning? Someday that attitude is going to come back and bite you. Hard. That will happily elude its attempts. So, uh, you know, how about we, uh, eat? Uh, maybe now's not a good time. <laughs> oh no. Without a word, each of us left the dining hall. Breakfast is important. It's important, guys. We headed back to our rooms, one by one. Ugh. So, what should I do today? Jeez, buddy. Um... Is... Ina or Sakura... I actually want to see it is it'd probably show me, but I want to see if Sakura. I doubt someone would die. Oh, Sayaka, that's. I doubt someone would die, twice in their rooms. Um. I just want to see. This is Sakura's room. Oh no 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 no. Well okay, never mind. Fuck my ideas then. I don't want to talk to Sakura. What's going on with her? Yeah. Yeah, let's talk to her. I don't think you're a bad guy. I'm not sure if I'm ready to open up just yet. Maybe if you create the right opportunity. Yeah. Even if I don't feel like talking, you'll still stand by me? I still don't understand you, Makoto. Aw, we're good friends. Without saying a word, I stood by Sakura. Oh, that's actually extremely precious and wholesome. What a good friend. I'm sure that made her feel at least a little better. Yeah, let me see if I have a good present for her. I know I have boxing gloves. Um. Hold on. Blueberry perfume. Hmm. I mean, this is my best guess. I'll accept it with gratitude. I'll never forget this, Makoto. I get the impression that she liked it. That's good. Aww. Aww. Although I didn't get a thing from her. I mean, I get that she doesn't want to talk, but... Usually I get like a... Oh, so-and-so, ba da ba da ba Um, okay. Oops, not the system. Uh, this. Yeah, how about we talk to... 
I mean, Biakia is always so funny to talk to. Let's, but I know I have a swimsuit, so let's go talk to uh, Ina. Okay, I think it's this way. Right? Wait, where was she? I already forgot. I should have checked. The dining hall. Here we go. Sniff, sniff. Hey, Hina. Listen, I'm really sorry, but I kind of want to be alone right now. I've got a lot I need to think about. Oh, yeah, yeah, okay. Um. I haven't really talked to the clairvoyant very much. I guess we could talk to him. He's in the hallway. Main area? Ah, here you guys are. Blue! I had a dream last night. I saw that the spirit world was going to flood us with energy and save us from the school nightmare. It's a prophecy! Take heart, my man! Uh, should I hang out with Hero for a while? Yeah! Oh, I've got something I wanted to show you. I got the stigmata on my back! <laughs> it's the gift from the gods. Hero showed me a scar on his back, though I didn't really get what it meant. Hero and I grew a little closer today. Yeah. Um, what is Hero like? Um, all I really know about him is that he's a clairvoyant. I don't know if I have anything else. He did like to eat. Is this anything? No. I guess he does like food. I'd always go for that. Um... Ah, oh, she took my shears, but she hated them. <laughs> um, I'll figure this out. Does this have any properties? Um, let's see. I'm really thinking hard about this. It doesn't matter. Everyone's gonna die. Okay, any thing with these? What's an oopart? I don't understand it. It's saying oopart everywhere. Ah. Oh, you might like that one. I could give him... Ooh, sacred... sacred... I mean, this is spiritual, but I don't know if he believes in the gods or if it's just a, like, I don't believe in gods, I believe in ghosts kind of thing. I guess if he believes in, like, a spirit realm. Sure. Huh? You're saying I can have this? All of a sudden I feel invigorated. I feel awake. I feel like I like you. <laughs> oh. Seeing here so pleased with something I gave him makes me happy. Hey, Makoto. What's up, my brother and fellow mother lover? Let's raise our semi-siblings up right, okay? Stop talking about that. So, you ready for the next round? Never. Actually, how do you do your fortune telling anyway? Oh, we did talk to him. I saw you doing palm readings and stuff, and you didn't use any tools or anything. Wow, I didn't knew I didn't know you knew about divination tools. Sounds like you know your way around the spirit world. Uh, I'm not sure you need to know that much about those kind of tools. Now that I know you're an expert, I have a question for you. A correct answer gets you another discount. No oh, thanks. There are 22 cards. Who? Let's see if I know this. There are 22 cards known as the Major Arcana, and 56 cards known as the Minor Arcana. Generally, the cards go from the Major Arcana are used for divination. You know what I'm talking about? The Major and Minor Arcana, and the Major Arcana cards are used to tell the future. That must be- oh yeah, that's tarot. Well I know, you're talking about tarot cards. <laughs> ah, gloriously correct! I will now tell your fortune for a measly 600 bones. Wow, really? It is something I'd never say. I've had enough fortune telling for one lifetime. I see. Well, if you ever change your mind, you know where to find me. Sure thing. Anyway, getting back to what I asked you about before. Honestly, like, you might die. It could just be fun. <laughs> and, and, like, if you leave, like, is $600 really gonna be the most awful thing about 
this experience. If you don't use any tools or whatever, how do you do your fortune telling? Well, don't be fooled. I have my own techniques. For example, I employ numerology. Oh, great. Numerology? Uses a mathematical formula to predict the future based on birth dates, letter numbering, all that. But I don't see you doing anything like that either. Well, it's more of an inspirational style of fortune telling. Some kind of unknown power just acts through you and suddenly, bam, you got the info. You're talking about intuition. Don't try and describe it using such a cheesy word. If it's not intuition, then it's gotta be some kind of supernatural power. Don't compare my clairvoyance to some occult bullcrap. I hate the occult. Take that crap somewhere else. You hate the occult? Yep. Now here's some good news. Act now and I'll throw in an extra bonus on your reading. I used white magic to record a CD of spirit messages I received from the luxury suite of heaven. Five seconds of this baby and you'll be witnessing miracles and communing with angels for days. And you said you hate the occult. Yeah, business is business. The more I talk to him, the less I understand. I'm gonna write that down. Hates the occult. Let's see. Hero. Hates the occult. Good info. Oh, my maximum number of skill points has been increased. Hey, look at you go. I shook off hero sales pitch and headed back to my room for a while. No dead body? Bing dong bing bong. Yeah, it's not such a lean of time. Doors I don't know if you do the best. Okay. Night time already. Tonight feels somehow uneasy. We still haven't settled things with Sakura. Everyone's in a terrible mood. I just hope nothing happens tonight. Knock on wood. All right, what do you want? Oh, there's more crabs. See, everything turns into crab. Everything. After I declined the offer to become a shrimp, the tech support lady just refused to drop the issue. All right. Once the shrimp idea was dead, she came back suggesting I should become a crab instead. He knows about crab theory. <laughs> How much can one person love crustaceans? I said, no, of course. And she shot back. Okay, then how about we make you extra special? We can be a crab that walks sideways and backwards. But how is that any better? I don't want to go sideways or backwards. I want to go forward. I heard her annoyed side on the other end of the line. Then she said, you just don't see the splendor of the crab. Haven't you ever heard of the tail of the crab and the monkey? Of course I've heard of it. I know all about it. But so what? The crab beats the monkey, but it's just some legend. Hardly relevant to our greed-obsessed modern society. Sure, monkeys still show up in movies and stuff from time to time, but not crabs. Monkey-themed clothes are sweeping the fashion world, but the crab doesn't stand a chance, right? What I'm saying, crabs have no place in today's light speed world. God, I feel like I'm talking politics at Thanksgiving. Which is why I chose the always popular <laughs> bear image. And that's the secret origin story of Monokuma. Carsonization. <laughs> big dumb, big bum, carsonic crabonization. Uh, still no dead body? Okay. I need to do something about Sakura. I better go to the dining hall and talk to the others about it one more time. Okay, for sure we're gonna find someone dead now, but um, I think I'm gonna end it here. It seems like a good starting place. Or stopping point, rather. Save. D slot 17. Um, man, I feel like I got a lot done and nothing done. It feels like it's been four hours and it's only been two hours. But that being said, I had a lot of fun. It's getting very late, though. Uh, maybe I'll stream more this weekend. But, uh, yeah, thank you all for joining in. Um, I really appreciate it. Thank you, Detective Udia. It was nice to see you. Thank you for the bits. Um, I will exit here real quick. I will exit. I will exit. Okay. Um, and anyone who hasn't seen my other Danganronpa streams, they're all on YouTube for your viewing pleasure. Um, and if you haven't joined the Discord, join, join the Discord. Um, 
Also on my YouTube, we're doing a lot of Ace Attorney, L.A. Noir, a bunch of one-offs. I did a tier list the other day. Um, so all sorts of stuff. I, I feel like I'm getting back into the swing of things. I don't know if I was just having a busy time in my life or what. or But I think I had just some winter lack of motivation. So I feel like I'm starting to get into the swing of things again. Um, so that's nice. Um, but yeah, I, 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 I'm going to go to bed. But um, thank you all for joining. Make sure to take your meds, take your vitamins, and take your birth control if you need to. And treat yourself to a nice cool glass of water that doesn't have any dust in it. I'll go clean out my water bottle and drink some proper water. My throat is a little shot. But thank you all for joining. Love you, Detective Mudea. Love everyone else. Take care. See you next time. And bye-bye. If I can hit end stream, bye-bye.